This video explains how to extract the first and last words of a character string using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new string object is appearing at the top right, which is called my string. And we can print this character string to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our character string contains the sentence, have a look at my very nice character string. So let's assume that we want to extract the last word of this character string. So in this case, the word string. Then we can apply the sub function as you can see in lines five and six of the code. As you can see, the code within the sub function is relatively complicated. So for that reason, I will put all the R programming code into the description of this video so that you can copy and paste it from there. However, if you run these lines of code, you can see that a new data object called myStringLast is appearing at the top right. And we can print this new data object by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new character string, which contains only the last word of our input character string. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the sub function provided by the basic installation of the R programming language. However, an even simpler solution to this problem is provided by the string R package. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line nine of the code. So as a very first step, we need to install and load the string R package, as you can see in lines nine and 10. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And then in the next line of code in line 12, we can use the word function to extract the last word of our character string. And we can do that by specifying the name of our character string and the value minus one. And in this case, I'm storing the output of the word function in a new data object that I'm calling my string last two. So after running line 12 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right. And if we print it to the RStudio console, you can see that once again, we have extracted the last word of our character string. The word function can also be used to extract the first word of our character string, as you can see in line 15 of the code. And in this case, I'm simply specifying plus one instead of minus one. And as in the previous lines of code, I'm creating a new data object in which my output is stored. So in this case, I'm calling this new data object my string first. So after running line 15 of the code, this new data object is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this new data object by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that the first word, which is have, has been extracted from our character string. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.